Hey everyone, it's Nicole here. So today I wanted to do a first impression video of the new um, Maybelline Master Camo Palettes. Um, I picked up the one in light, I believe it is, and um, it's a multi-use palette to help with color correction. You have yellow for brightening and sallow skin, and also green for um, your you know red-based skin or any type of like discoloration. There's some highlighters in here as well as you know two fairly light. Um, concealers and it is a cream based palette so I just wanted to kind of give it a, a shot and, and try something different um, and try to you know wear it throughout the day and let you guys know kind of what I think about it if if I would buy it again if I think it's worth the investment um, so if you would like to kind of find out what I think about it how it applies and kind of get ready with me with me today um, then please keep watching and as always please like comment subscribe um, let me know what you guys think and also if there's anything else that you would like to see from me so without further ado here you go <laughs> I'm pulling some of the yellow pigment up on a Real Techniques foundation brush. Um, I know it says for foundation, I kinda like this size more for concealer. So I'm gonna start with this. And this is the yellow again. And um, generally I use my IT Cosmetics by my under eye for this, but I figured with the yellow, maybe it'll help a little more. I used to use way back in the day I'm gonna age myself now. Um, Maybelline used to have a yellow kind of lipstick crayon, and I would use that for my under eyes quite often in the darkness. But I would like only use that, and I didn't know you had to. I was a kid. I didn't know you had to blend more color on top of it. So I would like have this awesome like you know hydrated face, and then just this random yellow under my eyes, and it was kind of a hot mess. But I'm gonna take a little into my lid space too since they can get kind of dark and we'll blend out with a beauty blender now this is just again like for color correction so this is not how you're gonna spend the rest of your day with your face this is just gonna be the first step before you apply your foundation and today I'll show you real quick I'm gonna be using Beyond Perfecting from Clinique I really love this. It's a concealer foundation in one. Personally, I use it just for foundation. I don't think it's enough for a concealer for me. Um, but I guess if you have like spots that you want to conceal throughout the day, that's great. Wow, I look ridiculous unblended. Put the lotion in the basket. All right, anyway. Um, so this is the color cream whip. And this is kind of more of a very fair golden. I probably would have gotten a color a little bit darker than that. But it's my first time working with it. And um, one of the girls at the counter had said it tends to run a little bit darker, the foundation. Um, but yeah, don't do what I did. Swatch it. Try it for yourself. Always try it, you know, on your face. Don't use your wrist or your hand because it's not the same as your face. Um, yeah, and with a beauty blender, since we're getting ready together, I always press it into the skin gently. And, you know, try not to tug or pull at your skin. The whole point of the Beauty Blender is to literally, like, bounce it into the skin. And if you do need to pull product, you can kind of bounce and roll. That'll kind of pull the product down more. And I'm already seeing a difference in the brightness under my eyes. So, so far, so good. Let's see how the green goes on and also, most importantly, how it's going to blend with my foundation. Okay, so I cleaned off my brush and I've applied some green to it. I'm just going to kind of pull this down my cheeks here where I have most redness. You don't need to put this all over your face. Just where you feel like you have the most amount of redness. Same with the yellow. That's the whole point of color correction. Just applying it to the areas you feel like you need help. And my chin's pretty red and around my nose gets a little red. So now I'm going to use a different beauty blender and just start pressing this in. Try not to blend the two colors unless you have to. Um, the whole point is keeping your placement with color correction and then bouncing and blending your foundation on top. You just want to kind of blend it enough to where you won't have anything that's kind of like too thick or cakey. 
10 out. So far with the redness, it's pretty good. Look in a mirror here. I feel like it could be a little bit better than the coverage I'm getting because I have the LED light, so that kind of brightens it more. I feel like it could be a little more coverage on the redness, but I really like the yellow. So for redness, at least from like just first impression putting it on, I would probably stick to Bye Bye Redness from It Cosmetics. But again, sometimes it could set, you know, when it oxidizes it might change. But so far, I mean, it did a pretty good job actually. And it does not feel thick. Um, some cream compacts can feel extremely thick and um, they're hard to blend. So far this is blending really nicely on my skin. Let's see how it's gonna appear under my foundation. So with um, Beyond Perfecting, it comes out in a wand like this. I'm not a huge fan of the wand, but I get it because it is a concealer too, so I get why they did it. Um, personally, I would rather like a pump or something on this, but that's just my opinion. But So with this, I tend to dot it all over my face and then go on with my beauty blender and start kind of pressing um you can even swipe it on too but I, i'm afraid to swipe too much i want to see how this concealer works but anyway i'm just gonna really gently bounce i know it looks like i'm getting kind of ferocious here with my beauty blender but i'm really just doing it very gently and i'm going to try to bounce this product all over and I always cover my eyes with concealer and foundation because my eyelids tend to get um, a bit like cracked and creased throughout the day with my eyeshadow. So I feel like this gives me extra protection and um, extra long wear for my eyeshadow. So far it looks like it's blending really well my foundation on top of us. I'm not seeing like any awkward discoloration or any of the concealer kind of coming through and just, you know, taking away from the foundation. Okay, so it really is not bad. Um, I'm pretty content with the way that it kind of covered some of the redness and evened it out. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's still hard to tell. I want to see how it kind of really goes throughout the day and if it lasts. So I'm going to actually do my the rest of my routine. I'm going to set my face with my NYX No Filter Powder. And let's do this here. I'm going to use this on a flat buffing brush from It Cosmetics and just kind of press it into my skin. I always like to finish with a powder just because I feel like it really locks it in. And so far I'm really happy with this powder. Another really great drugstore product. You know, the less you can spend is awesome. You know, if you're on a budget and you want to get the same kind of professional look but not have to spend so much, I always like to kind of splurge on my foundations, but I've even found a few drugstores that I like. Okay, so now generally I would put my um, MAC Pro Longwear concealer on on top of this to continue to highlight further. Um, I know there's a concealer duo in this palette from Maybelline, but they are cream based and I've already applied my foundation and my powder. So generally I don't like to put more cream on because it tends to move the product at this point. So I'm going to continue to use my MAC Pro Longwear, which is a liquid concealer. And I'm gonna use that on top of this and then bake it.
Okay, so now I have my bake on and I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna go and do the rest of my eye makeup and my contouring and we'll come back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished the rest of my makeup and I actually, um, some time has passed. It's probably been about three hours and I've been wearing the concealer palette. Again, it's the Maybelline Master Camo Palette and this is the color Light. And I do like it. Um, it's definitely blends well underneath foundation. Um, I wouldn't say that it, you know, is super long wear because I've noticed after three hours already that it's kind of a little creasy. Um, and, you know, generally when I wear my It Cosmetics, I'll show you that, the Bye Bye um, Under Eye Illumination, I don't get as much um, cracking and creasing and I can kind of build on top of it and it'll last for a fairly um, good amount of time. But I do like that you can't see the green through the foundation, you can't see the yellow, my eyes don't look quite as dark. Um, Overall, for extreme brightening and illumination, I'd probably still stick to this, but for a daily wear kind of a palette, um, just to color correct underneath your foundation, I think this is definitely a hit, and um, I believe I paid $7.99 at Target for it, and there's a ton of coupons constantly for Maybelline, so I think it would definitely um, be a great investment, and I'll continue to wear it throughout the day and see how it is by nighttime. I don't necessarily, like I said, think it's going to be a super long wear product, but I definitely think think it's a good product so um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and um, please keep watching thank you